diversity, special attention to detail, professional attitude and skills of Alajajian Marcusi architects go beyond basic design. The Armenian American Museum concept designed by them will put Glendale on the map nationwide. Congratulations are in order on the iconic and inspiring design of this historic project. Okay, thank you. Thanks for the congratulations. I, um, yes, it is a, a very special project for our firm. Uh, we've been working on it close to two years now. And uh, it, it will be an iconic project for the city of Glendale and for our community. Uh, we have a great team here, a uh, great team of architects, engineers that are dedicated to make this a success. Well, it, uh, it doesn't happen that every day you see uh, a museum going up in any city. Uh, uh, usually the museums are very specific projects uh, that is, you know, basically uh, catering to the needs of the culture and bringing the past, today's and the future all together. So in, in that regards, I think uh, it is a historic. Also, it's historic because Glendale, uh, in general, has only a few museums which are not catered to uh, do the same for the community or in Los Angeles at large that this museum will do specifically. Uh, that probably is one of the uh, major elements that this, uh, this museum will bring into, into our community, into Glendale community. How was the downtown site of the Armenian American Museum conceived? Well, the site was selected originally being um, close to the Glendale College. That was the first uh, initial wish of the community to, uh, to place it there. However, after uh, many community meetings as well as the meetings with the City Council, uh, City Council had the desire to um, move the museum to the center of the city, to create a fabric of the culture and arts near the central library, which basically combines the central library, the uh, upcoming museum, Mona Americana, and the uh, adult recreation facility that makes the entire fabric uh, uh, enterprise zone. It, it complies with the enterprise zone. It makes it, uh, makes, makes it more attractive to the, to the visitors, to the guests that were coming to the Glendale, uh, visit the Glendale, and they will be having an opportunity as well to visit the museum. So that was the selection, and, uh, and uh, when the city council has suggested us to move down there, uh, the museum committee, and uh, as well as the architects and engineers team, uh, we had a very close look at the, uh, the location and the, and the size of the property, although we had to redesign for this location, but we tried to keep the theme and the, and the concept the same. Uh, uh, in proportions, it could be slightly different, what was proposed on the um, original site. Uh, or, or a first site, I would say. Um, however, this location is uh, it's much more attractive for us uh, as a museum, and we all agreed that the council and uh, some of the community members had, a, had a made a very good decision or uh, give us a very good direction to take that site instead of going and cross the college, because cross the college is more related to, uh, to education. The museum would be more related to education, uh, more... Uh, basically interlocking with the educational system of Glendale, having visitors from the schools and the colleges. Uh, this has an expose of a location that would basically attract not just college students, it will attract everybody, and it's in the city center. And I think this was a much better selection of the site. Uh, than initially. To, that initially that was thought of. Can you elaborate on the museum's interior features? By saying, let me talk about the program, uh, what, what contains the museum uh, uh, at this location. Uh, the program of the museum, it calls out to be, uh, uh, we're not building a building here. I want everybody to think about this for one minute. We're building a culture. Museum is a culture, it's not a building. Because it serves the community or serves the visitors, you know, guests. It brings, as I said, the past and the future and the today's uh, events all together. It will offer a wide variety of the exhibition, starting from the permanent exhibition up to upcoming and, and rotating visiting exhibitions that will come in and visit us for three to four months. It will give an opportunity to an uh, upcoming artist to display their artwork. It will 
uh, have an area for a, you know, creative technology to, you know, to be displayed for our community. But talking about the program, I like to start saying that uh, the museum wants the museum takes its location of the closer to the Colorado on a Central Park area or Central Park space area by relieving uh, northerly uh, much of a space to be a, like an open public space, which is basically uh, will be designed as uh, a space of happening where uh, people will congregate, you know, will have an areas with, uh, where the children could play and so forth in that entire park area. So museum itself, uh, the design calls out for being as transparent as possible. Although you see a, a form of a block building which is sitting in that, uh, specifically in that corner over there. However, we try to eliminate the first floor as much as we can. So the openness of the plaza between the Colorado Street all the way to the, to the library makes it much more open by elevating the, uh, the museum floor up. So the, the program calls out for the lobby, it calls out for the auditorium, which would be uh, mainly housing lectures, you know, shows, you know, some uh, minor performances and all that, you know, will be uh, the, uh, occupied by our community or visitors. Uh, we lifted the museum floor above uh, the plaza level to give them maximum privacy and a maximum concentration and isolation to that. So if you're if you're visiting the museum, the first stop is your ground level, which is your lobby area. From the lobby, you take a passenger elevator or a guest elevator. You will arrive into information desk at the second floor. And that's where the museum is happening. You know, you have a permanent site, which would probably occupy about 30 to 35 percent, and the rest the remaining is uh, about 60 percent, 60, 65 percent would be uh, will be uh, called out for the visiting museums, visiting exhibitions. Just imagine if you have uh, from Impressionist art, we can have collection there for uh, three to four months. And our community, not just the Glendale community, just LA would be, um, you know, it would be very attractive for the people in LA to come and see uh, alongside uh, of the permanent museum to see the uh, ongoing museums that are keep changing in that area. So it has its mission to be a uh, besides being attractive, besides being dynamic. Uh, and, and in relation to what museums are doing today and in, in all over the world, you know, there are animated shows which would, you know, basically would, the, the, makes you travel uh, way back, you know, to Middle Ages or uh, uh, beginning of some centuries if you want to view time. certain things, say back in time. And, and um, uh, those are all very much possibilities these days by using the newer technology and the virtual uh, technology and, and creating that kind of exhibition. So there are all kinds of possibilities would be happening on the museum floor. Now the third floor will offer the uh, learning center where, um, for the scholars and for the students. It will offer a um, demonstration kitchen uh, we said many times that you know demonstration kitchen would be uh, catering. Let's say if if you were having a different culture being displayed and the um, uh, at the exhibition, say if you have an Indian art going for three to four months, so you will be able to test the Indian food upstairs on the third floor at the demonstration kitchen. And uh, then we have archives on the third floor. You know archives are much essential part of the museum. They're uh, they're basically uh, house all the artifacts that are, uh, you know, time sensitive, as well as being displayed for certain times and being stored for certain times. And we have an open deck, uh, a terrace, which uh, opens up. Uh, two functions will open up to it: one, a demonstration kitchen, and the learning center. So the people that are on the on the third floor, they basically can. Uh, uh, mingle into an area which is an open deck, open to sky deck, and have a cup of coffee, enjoy conversation, or discuss art. So uh, throughout the project, we're thinking of you know carrying in some elements of arts and architecture or uh, sculptures, you know that you can uh, basically experience uh, 
through your movement from each floor vertically or horizontally. So I think those are essential elements that are integrated in this, this concept. Uh, would it be correct to say that other cultures will integrate through the Armenian culture? Well, I wouldn't say to integrate, but you know, uh, displaying the cultures, I think it's, it's, it's something that the museum needs to do. And, uh, and, and the program of our museum is called out for that. It's not just Armenian American Museum, Armenian American experience being displayed in this museum. There are all kinds of opportunity, not just other cultures. It would be upcoming artists, as I mentioned earlier. It, it could be uh, visiting muse you know, uh, museums from, from Europe. There, there are many museums that are looking for a floor area within the greater Los Angeles that, uh, to, to see that availability to, uh, you know, and we will be hosting that. And, and that would be one of the greatest things that this museum could do. Let's talk about museum's exterior. The exterior of the project is thought of to have elements or fragments of the stalactites of the mountains, you know, of the rocks coming together. Those are um, uh, multinational communities throughout the Los Angeles. When you bring all those elements, segments together, they create one bigger rock. So that's basically the symbolical approach to this museum. It's about the unity. It's about the, uh, the community in, in the greater Los Angeles area. It's about the community in Glendale. And especially and that, our favorite Verdugo Mountain. Yeah, it is a reflection of the of the of the stalactites of the Verdugo Mountains as well. You know that we are in Glendale area. What do you think will attract the visitors to the Armenian American Museum? Well, I think that uh, you know uh, what the attraction would be as far as the museum is concerned. As I said, you know it's a uh, it will be a cultural center. So we're building a culture there, and besides building a building. So the, the amenities, the programs that the museum is going to offer in this location, I think it, it, it will uh, basically run parallel what the community likes to see or, or uh, visitors like to see. Uh, with the changing museums, the permanent uh, art exhibition or permanent his, history of uh, Armenian American experience, we have other amenities which offer variety of uh, um, you know uh, activities within the museum or within the surroundings of the museum that could attract a lot of guests to come into Glendale for that uh, reason being you know special lectures you know uh, that could be conducted in the um, at the auditorium uh, um, just to further out on the first floor we will have a cafeteria which faces the Colorado Street that serves as a concession stand at the time of the intermissions for the auditorium and uh, the learning center is another element which uh, which will have uh, seminars maybe seminar well le learning centers is basically will cater uh, the students scholars who would like to study an, about specific arts say if you have um, renaissance art is being displayed at the uh, for a short term for four months or, or six months at the at the museum section of the museum there will be information about that at the learning center you know, by clicking the, the you know, uh, in the internet, not only internet, but we will be having the separate uh, uh, computers just dedicated for researching and learning more about that specific art or that specific era at the learning center. That makes uh, uh, the students or scholars or people who are interested a lot easier access to the given material that is being displayed down at the exhibit level. Um, and uh, that is, I think that is one uh, positive element that this museum will offer. Um, uh, and, it's a, and it's a place that uh, people will, uh, it will it's, a, it's sort of a melting pot for the artists, you know, to come together and to enjoy not just the building itself or enjoy the cultures that it will be displayed in the building. For advertising on Inside TV, Please call 818-653-0199. Ուշադրություն. Հայ ամերիկյան թանգարան նախագծին նվիրված հասարակական ժողով։ Օրը 5 շաբթի մարտի 8-ին, ժամը 3:07-ին, վայրը Adult Recreation Center, հասցեն 201 East Colorado Street։ Ձեր կարծիքը կարևոր է։ Մասնակցենք ազգովի։
Sound of Music and Sense of Art մշակութա հին կենտրոնը վննայսի Սուր Պետրոս եկեղեցունքից տարիներ շարունակ աչկի ենկել իր հայապահպան գործունեությամբ, հայեցի դաստիարակություն, գիտելիքներ, ամրային ճամբար։ Sound of Music and Sense of Art մշակութա հին կեն� երեկ չորս չորս կարասուն ութվացուն կամ ութ մեկ ութ ինը յոտ չորս ութսուն ինը սուն ինը հերախոս ամարներով։ The mission of the Armenian American Museum is to promote understanding and appreciation of ethnic and cultural diversity by sharing the Armenian American experience. What is the vision for the Armenian American Museum? The vision is to create a campus that would enrich the community. It would educate the residents and the, of Southern California about the Armenian American experience. And it would empower individuals to speak out against prejudice and uh, other crimes that are taking place against individuals here as well as around the world. How do you plan on helping keep the community engaged? Engaging the community in our efforts is a very important part of our work uh, because this is the museum of the people, the people that live in Southern California, the people that live here in Glendale, so that uh, the people of California, so that they uh, benefit from the experiences that they will have by coming and visiting the museum. They will become more uh, enthusiastic and more capable of speaking out against prejudice, speaking out against racism, speaking out against efforts that will not uh, appreciate the role that the immigrant population has played here in California in making California what it is today. The Armenian American Museum stands for liberation, self-determination and justice. How can our youth become immersed in this project? Uh, Embracing the youth into the work of the museum is going to be a central, integral part of what we are going to do. We're going to start very early. As we are planning the exhibitions and the experiences that individuals will have, we intend to, tar to go to the younger generation individuals and involve them in focus groups, in discussions, in helping us uh, understand what it is they want to see in this museum. Uh, we will also be creating interactive type of experiences for young individuals that will enable them to see and experience what it was like to be in Armenia or other uh, parts of the world that we are going to be exhibiting in the museum. Who has been entrusted to oversee the Armenian American Museum project? Well, uh, the Armenian American Museum uh, got its uh, start from 19 organizations, community organizations that were formed in 2012 to uh, commemorate the centennial of the Armenian Genocide. These 19 organizations identified 10 organizations that are national, uh, regional organizations with a presence in the community of here in Glendale and Southern California to lead the effort of uh, taking responsibility for the museum, of guiding it forward. So 10 uh, community organizations uh, representing a wide spectrum of individuals and uh, entities from our community. How important is the feedback from the community meeting? Since this is a community project, this is a museum of the people, it, uh, the feedback that we are seeking is extremely important. We've had several meetings already regarding this uh, site and what the city is planning on doing to create a new Central Park uh, setting uh, that will have a much larger area for uh, passive as well as active recreational activities. Uh, and uh, we've received very positive feedback. The museum itself is getting an incredible feedback. We aren't even open yet, but we're averaging eight to 10 phone calls a week from individuals who want to know if the museum is uh, open and uh, want to come and visit. So this is when we're not even up and uh, operating Running. yet. Yeah. So uh, it is receiving very positive feedback from individuals who want to know more and who want to come and experience what the museum will offer.
Berge, what are the major milestones ahead? Well, we have many milestones ahead. We have many steps still to go through, but I'm extremely optimistic that we will navigate forward in a timely fashion and we will experience the museum uh, very soon. Uh, they often tell us that uh, from experience it takes 10 years from conception to doors opening of a museum. Well, we are already in our year four of this process and it has taken a lot of work, a lot of human time that has gone into bringing us where we're at today. We're very grateful that the city of Glendale has uh, entered into an exclusive negotiating agreement for a place in central downtown area uh, for the location of the museum. Uh, we hope that we will conclude very soon the environmental impact and, uh, serve analysis and we will uh, enter into a ground lease agreement with the city. Uh, the other important aspect of what has taken place already is that more and more individuals have become aware and are interested in talking about what this museum would mean to us Glendale residents, to Southern California, to have a museum that will be about the Armenian American experience, that will be about different immigrant populations that have come to California and made California what we see today as our uh, state. So uh, we have gone already through a lot. We've had various studies done. We've had there is uh, research. Uh, research done. We've uh, engaged uh, museum specialists that have helped us develop uh, various aspects of the concept for the museum. Now will happen av after the ground lease is approved. We will enter into the phase where we are going to be submitting the uh, detailed plans to the city for approval and that will go through uh, various uh, hearings and meetings and so on. So we expect uh, uh, some of the progress on the meetings and the hearings to be completed by February, March of 2019. I uh, hope to start construction on the museum sometime uh, by the middle of 2019. And it will take us three uh, to four years from that point on to complete the museum. This fall, we will start our fundraising drive. We will kick it off with a major telethon. And then uh, end of the year, we will have our gala banquet. And uh, then the, the process of fundraising will continue. Into a lot to do. Yeah. A lot to do. And for those who don't uh, know, maybe, that the, the museum is a vital uh, component of the Central Park project. Yes. Uh, in our city, we do not really have many museums. When we look at the adjoining cities of Pasadena, Burbank, Los Angeles, we see numerous museums uh, throughout their cities. Uh, Pasadena, a smaller city than ours, has several museums. We uh, are fortunate that our city has looked at the, that uh, uh, arts and entertainment district, which is just to the north, west, east, and south of the central library, and they want to create more art and entertainment type of facilities. So the museum will be an important anchor uh, for those that kind of uh, programs for arts and the culture development. The museum will have not only exhibition halls, not only uh, a learning center, but it will have a demonstration kitchen, it will have an auditorium theater in there that will all uh, be part of enhancing the culture. The Central Park project, as you're talking about, will have between the Central Library and the museum a open space that will be programmed to create a lot of activities for our residents and visitors to come and experience. The Armenian American Museum is a developing project in Glendale, California. When completed, it will serve as a cultural campus that enriches the community, educates the public on the Armenian American story, and empowers individuals to embrace cultural diversity and speak out against prejudice. Ushadrutu, Hi American Tangaran Nahagatin Navirvats Hasarakan Zhorov, Ora Hingshapti Marti Utin, Jama Yerekwan Yotin, Vaira Adult Recreation Center, Hasen Yerkuhadur Mek, East Colorado Street. Zerkartika Karevore, Masnak Tseng Asgovi.
բացարիք համեր, երկը սկարնան թևով։ Առաջին անգամ լոս անջելեսում, կենթանի հնչողությամբ մենահամերգով հանդես կգա սիրված երջուհի անահիտ Սահակյանը։ Համերքին կմասնակցեն լոս անջելեսի անվանի արվեստագետ ընկերները, ինչպես նաև Համեր գտեղիք ունենա հինք շապտի, մարդի 15-ին, երեկոյան ժամը 7-39, գլենդելի ալեկս համերգասրահում։ Դոմսերի և մանդրամաստերի համար զանգահար է, 818-448-77-88-818-458-0505-0505-0505-0505-0505-0505-0505-0505-0505-0505-0505-0505-0505-0505-0505-0505-0505-0505-0505-0505-0505-0505-0505-0505-0505-0505-0505-0505-0505-0